With every new OnePlus phone comes a new version of Android-based software, and that's especially true with the OnePlus 10 Pro, which came with what is essentially a tweaked version of Oppo's Color OS. That means there's plenty of things to discover. I'm Cam Bunton from PocketLint, and in this video I'm going to show you some of my favourite and most useful tips and tricks. If you do like this video, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more. So the first and the second tips in this video sort of tie together, so bear with me on this one. The first one is checking how much RAM you're using. So if your phone is running slow or you just like numbers, there's a way to show how much of your phone's RAM you're using at any given time in the recent apps view. Just open up your home settings by long pressing the wallpaper and tapping the more cog. Scroll down to recent tasks manager, then toggle on the switch that says display RAM memory information for recent tasks. So number two is expanding your RAM. Now, if you're finding that you do need extra RAM, you can use part of the phone's storage as virtual RAM. In fact, the phone already has this enabled by default and adds three gigabytes, but you can expand this further up to an additional seven. To do that, go to settings, about device, and then tap RAM. Now you'll see a slider on screen that lets you expand by a further five gigabytes or seven gigabytes. Choose the additional memory that you want and now restart your phone. Number three seems to be a tip I add to most Android tips and tricks guides recently, and it's bringing back your power button. In recent years, it seems the default action when you press and hold the sleep-wake key on the side is to launch an assistant of some kind, rather than bringing up the power off and reboot options. However, you can change this. Go to settings, system settings, and power button. Now tap the press and hold power button option and choose power menu from the list. Number four is auto switching the receiver during calls. Now, oftentimes I find when I'm on hold on the phone, I'll put my phone on loudspeaker and wait until someone answers, at which point I then want to lift it up to my ear and use the earpiece or receiver instead. Now, with a OnePlus phone, you can enable a function that does this automatically when you lift the phone to your ear. So go to settings, system settings, gesture and motions. Now toggle on the switch next to auto switch to receiver. Now, whenever you pick the phone up with the loudspeaker enabled during a call, it'll automatically switch to your earpiece. Next up is the three finger swipe to screenshot. Now, this is one of my favorite features and it's an ability to snap a screenshot with three fingers on the screen rather than fiddling around with a button combination. Just use three fingers and swipe down on the screen and it'll snap a screenshot. If it doesn't, check that the feature is enabled by going to settings, system settings, gesture and motions, then toggle on the swipe down with three fingers to take a screenshot option. Number six, one-handed mode. So this one's actually a standard feature of Android 12 now, and it's the ability to swipe down on the screen to bring down hard to reach items like toggles or search fields, for instance. Head to settings, system settings, one-handed mode, and then toggle it on. Now when you swipe down at the bottom of the screen, it brings down the top half of the interface to make those hard to reach elements easier to get to without stretching or needing two hands. Next up is a really cool feature called Icon Pull Down. Now along a similar theme to one handed mode, you can perform something called an Icon Pull Down on your home screen to quickly get to an app that you want to launch. Go to settings, home screen and lock screen and now choose Icon Pull Down Gesture and toggle it on. Now go back to your home screen and then swipe upwards from the left or right corner and you'll see all your icons squished down into that corner. So keep your thumb on the screen and just let go when you get to the app or the folder that you want to get to. Number eight is showing icons instead of numbers in the status bar for your waiting notifications. So by default, whenever you have a notification waiting, the OnePlus software shows a small number in the status bar at the top. But if you'd rather see icons so that you know which apps have alerts waiting for your attention, you can switch to those instead. Just go to settings, notification and status bar, then choose status bar. On this next screen at the very top is notification icons. Choose this and then select icons from the pop-up menu. Number nine is one of my favorites. Again, it's called Melody Notification Sounds. Now for years when you've chosen a notification sound, the only real option has been to have the same alert sound for every single notification. But with the Melody option, you can have it so that when multiple notifications come through in quick succession, the sound creates a melody, rather than just playing the same single note for every one. It's a feature introduced by Oppo in Color OS 11, and now it's available in Oxygen OS 12 as well. Just go to settings, sound and vibration, and scroll down until you find notification sound. At the top, you'll see melody. 
along with four coloured boxes, each representing a different instrumental sound. Choose the set that you like the sound of, and your melody feature will be enabled. Number 10 is quickly disabling your camera or your microphone, or both. One of the new features again in Android 12 was the ability to quickly toggle off the microphone and camera from your quick setting shade. With OnePlus software, these toggles are not in the sheet by default, but you can add them. Drop down your quick settings as usual and tap the little pencil to edit. In that first screen, you'll see a toggle for mic access and another for camera access. Just drag and drop these toggles into the sheet where you want them to be. Now, when you drop that down, you can easily tap to block access to either your camera or your mic. Number 11 is setting up the work-life balance feature. Now, in the latest version of Oxygen OS, OnePlus has introduced a feature to help with your work-life balance. It's unsurprisingly called work-life balance. Go to settings, find special features, now choose work-life balance. Tap set up work mode, and on the next screen, you can determine what times it is auto enabled and what days. By default, that's set to 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on weekdays, but you can change that if you want to depending on your work schedule. Or if you'd rather it was based on location, you can choose that instead and then choose a location or have it based on when you connect to your work office Wi-Fi. And then choose the Gmail accounts that you use for work. And then beneath that, you get to choose your work apps. So the only apps that you get notifications from and the only apps you'll be able to use are those ones. Then you do the same, but for life mode, which again, you can set up based on time, location, or Wi-Fi. At which point you can ensure you only get notifications from your personal apps and accounts and work accounts don't come through. It's pretty handy. Number 12 is not exactly new, but it's worth knowing anyway, and it's called optimized charging. OnePlus's latest phone charges really quickly. But if you're a nighttime charger, you probably don't need to be charging it quickly all the time. So you can increase the longevity of your battery by enabling the optimized charging feature. Now, what this does is it charges the first 80% quickly at nighttime, but then waits until just before you wake up or just before your morning alarm to fill up the last 20%. It should be enabled by default, but if it's not, you can enable it by going to settings, battery and advanced settings. Now toggle on the optimized night charging mode. Number 13 is the classic OnePlus Easter egg. Like I've said, this is a classic OnePlus feature, and if you've had a OnePlus phone before, it's likely you already knew about it. But if you head to the pre-installed calculator app and type OnePlus equals, you'll see an Easter egg appear on the screen. Last but not least is choosing a custom accent color. Now, this isn't necessarily a new feature, but the method of accessing it is slightly different to before. You can choose a custom accent color for your user interface. So just head to settings, personalization, and then select colors. You'll see a color wheel in the bottom right corner. Tap it and now move the dial until you find the exact color that you want. Now that color will appear as the accent in multiple interface layers, like your quick setting shade or your settings menu. So there you go, 14 quick tips to help you get the most out of your latest OnePlus phone. If you found this video useful, please do let me know in the comments down below or grab me on Twitter, I'm at Cam Bunton. If you did like it, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe and tap the notification bell and that way you don't miss any more of our uploads. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.